add storyboard. So without further ado, let's get to this. All right, so on another screen, I have the current assignment that we have to do. And remember what this is gonna be is this is gonna be me setting up uh, Flash to basically um, use to create the storyboards for this assignment. Okay, so first thing the assignment says is that it's going to be a square 336 by 280. There's a few ways you can go about it when you first open up uh, Flash. Sometimes you can go to the advertising formats and just pick it there. Otherwise, I'll select here, get my properties up, and it was 336, tab over, 280, enter. So this is going to be my screen size. Just make sure my thing's off and let's just get this in a little closer so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so of course we're going to be creating a folder labeled, if it was mine, be Rui Albino. I'm going to do iPhone 4 banner board. Um, within the folder I'll create my assets, I'll make sure I have a folder for the flash storyboard, a folder for creating um, a, a board, blah, a folder for the PDF storyboard and a folder for the final animation. Okay, so I'm going to stay with the frame rate of the 24 frames a second. Uh, and if you remember down here, we can click on this button just so we can see these things a little larger so I can label these out. I'm going to try to just do about 15. So if I go to frame 15, even better, I can probably do it this way. Just drag over, including frame 15, and hit F6, and I've got a keyframe in each one. Okay, so if I want, I can just go in and label these. Number one, enter. Number two, enter, and so on. Of course, I'm going to be looking for this in your work when you submit it to make sure you get right up to number 15. So back on to number one. One of the things that I need here is up on layer three, I'm going to change that to guide. And then I'm also going to right click on there and just change it to actual word guide. So now it's guide, it won't ever show up. But what's real nice is that while I'm working on this, I can see what I'm going on. So what am I putting in the guide? I'm basically going to put an empty frame. So see where my fill is? I'll hit the red strike through. So I'm just going to have this black frame. It doesn't matter what size I make this frame, because ultimately, I'm going to double click to make sure the entire frame is selected. And I'm going to go over to my width, and what was it? 336. Tab over by 280. Enter. And of course, on my X, it's going to be 0. And on my Y, it's going to be 0. And this is locked, so if you notice, it didn't stay by the 336 by 280. So unlock it in 336. There we go. And I'll go here and lock it to make sure this doesn't move around. Okay, so I'm about ready to go. I'm gonna call this my action layer. In this case, it's just to say where the visual action is happening. In this one, I'm gonna call my notes layer. Here, oops, if you remember on the assignment sheet, it, she did ask for that. Okay, so with that in mind, I have, uh, excuse me, I want to create a space here for my notes. So right now, if you notice, it's 336 by 280. Now I can go in here and I change it to 400. Okay, so now I've got this nice white space underneath that I can place the notes that I need. And what are the notes I need? First thing I need is, whoa, that's huge. Um, could be panel number, I'm gonna call it slide number, okay? So slide number, it's great for organization. That's a little large. What do we get? It's 60 point. That could be why. Let's bring that down to even 14 would be nice enough. Shrink this down, get it nice. And uh, small, let's just shrink that to what we need for now. There we go. Okay, oh, wonderful. 
Um, as you can see the color, so let's change it to black so you can see it. Okay, now with that selected, I'm going to go Command C to copy it, Command Shift V to paste in place, and then just some arrow keys to go down. That way they're fairly well aligned. And then of course with that selected, go back to my text tool, change that from slide number to notes with a colon. Oops. There we go. Okay. So that's ready to go. If you want, you can already prepare this one. It's going to be something like this. I don't want that. So I'm going to go over here and we're looking for paragraph or changes to justify to there. Might as well do it this slide also. Let's just bring that across. So oh, we're not going to need that much. Something like this. Do the same thing. Just apply it to the left. Okay. So there I more or less have everything ready to go to create my boards. All right. Uh, a few more minutes to go. So let's see what else it's asking. The next stage of production of storyboarding is a new layer of notes. I have it, panel number notes, great. And I know I have to, have a create, I have to create a keyframe for each one. Okay, so remember this is gonna be about five seconds. I gotta keep that in mind. So this is where my notes are. I'm just gonna do the same thing here that I did up there. I wanna make sure that slide number and notes are the same throughout. And then of course I'll add what they'll be um, afterwards. So press F6, I have keys in all of them. So I know that this one here is going to be slide number one. Here's going to be slide number two. Here, oops. Here is going to be slide number three. Here's four. Look at that, eh? Little flash, always acting strange. And so on and so forth, the same thing, right? Make sure you go and do it for all of them. Okay, so I know where my notes are going to be, and I know where my action is going to be. So let's start. I'm going to come over to here where I have slide number one. Under notes, I'm going to say, begin with a blank. Oops. Blank frame. Dot, dot, dot. So it's a blank frame, so I put nothing in. Come to here. Got to just go to my file and do a redo text change. There we go. Begin with a blank frame. I don't know why it's acting like where it's carrying over the information. Oh well, it's fixed. So slide number two. Apple logo fades up as copy and this is where I put my Apple logo for now I don't have one so I'm just going to see where it's going to go I'm probably going to have it appear here okay and then what I'll do Select it, Command C to copy it, go here. Oops, make sure I'm up here and paste it. Let me go back over to here, cut that, and paste it. Go back here again. So there we have it. So we have this fade up and appear there. And then remember, so it faded up here. So when I come to here for my notes, I'm going to put copy slides over to upper right corner. there for the rest of the ad. Okay, I only got a couple more minutes and I got to stop this. So I'll just show you that real quick. Scale it down. There we go. And 
place and say up here, that's where the logo is going to be. Then if I want here, I go to my file, I import the stage, and I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Not sure why it's taking so long to import from stage. We keep, oh, there we go, it's preparing to import. There we go, okay, so desktop. I'll pick this image here and I'll open it. There it is. Okay, now, this is a JPEG, this is the size it is. I do not want to mess with that because if I didn't make that any bigger, okay, it's not gonna work in Flash, okay? So it's very important to be aware of that. Okay, I'm just going to finish off, make sure that I have some options here with Flash. Um, sometimes you can just get like different information up. Other times you literally are going to have to deal with things like Photoshop and such. In this case, I don't want to get into Photoshop with you, so I'll just click Photoshop. Um, there's a way that I can just get the information here. So I go here and I go to properties and what appears is this. So first thing I'm going to do is allow smoothing. So it'll make it a little nicer. Okay. And right now it's use imported JPEG data, which I want to do because I don't want to, have to do any extra com uh, com bleh, compressing. Click OK. So there's my image. Now the good news is this is on white and this is white. So it works really well. So it's something to be aware of also, okay? So what am I missing? I'm missing this. So let me make sure I copy that. Go here and paste it. 